Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with an Influencer Vox Box unboxing and I was lucky enough to receive the Yves Saint Laurent or the Yves Saint Laurent um, mascara. So I'm just going to get to unboxing it. I got a card right here and I was so excited to get this. So this is the mascara volume effect faux sil. So I'm assuming it's supposed to give you a fake lash effect. Um, and it's this right here. It comes in a half yellow gold, half orangey gold packaging. I got the black one and this is a volumizing mascara. And this is what the package looks like. And it does resemble the box. It is half yellow gold and half more of a deeper orangey tone gold. Now when you open it up, it is a nylon wand. It is pretty much my favorite kind of wand. I love the traditional brushes. And I just feel like they just coat my lashes a lot better. It does have a scent to it. Kind of perfumey, but more in the sense of... Kind of like skincare almost. I don't know. It's weird. It's supposed to have some vitamins infused in it and some natural oils to help condition the lashes. I don't know. And make them look va va boom. So I don't have any mascara on today. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a demo on this mascara. Now I used this the other day and I actually liked the staying power of the mascara. It made my lashes still maintain their softness and it wasn't like crunchy or anything like that. It is a thick formula, so yes, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and put on this mascara and just stop talking. <laughs> okay, so I have the mascara right here and I'm going to go ahead and apply the mascara. It coats my lashes like in a very soft manner. The bristles aren't too harsh on my lashes which I like and that's probably why I tend to go for nylon style brushes or wands on my mascaras because it just feels more gentle on my lashes than a rubber bristled mascara wand so this is really nice now I, I don't normally re-dip the wand I just go ahead and keep brushing through my lashes so separate them and then I'll do the bottom lashes without re-dipping the wand. So this is the look that I get without re-dipping the wand in the mascara. So you kind of can say it's the first coat. I will then re-dip the wand and do a second coat. So this is the look that I achieved using two coats of this mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish out the other eye and I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my thoughts. Okay love, so this is what the mascara looks like on my eyes. It looks pretty much like every other mascara that I use. I am really picky with my mascaras and I don't know if this would be something that I would run to purchase. I might get this if this comes like in a kit with maybe some other skincare products or maybe some other eye products. Um, the mascara is nice, it does not flake. The only thing about this is if you have lashes that tend to fall, this is a pretty heavy feeling mascara. This does have like oils and stuff like that added into it to help condition the lashes and do all that good stuff that they're claiming it does. So it tends to weigh down the lashes a little bit. My lashes hold up fine. I don't normally have a problem with lashes fall, you know, like drooping or falling, but I do notice that it is a heavier thicker formulation of this it goes on really really smooth it's really really dark um and as you saw on the demo it coats the lashes well but you have to keep working it with the brush i have my own technique of how i put my mascara on everyone has their own way of doing it it does have that scent to it like i said it smells almost like skincare kind of florally but not like roses or that distinct rough scent it is more on the softer side but it's it, i can still actually smell it on my lashes it does dissipate after a few minutes so once your mascara is good and dry the smell is no longer there so that's not anything that i would tell anyone to worry about unless you're really sensitive to scents and if you have really really sensitive eyes you might want to look at the ingredients to see if 
something like this would benefit you or if you know you'll have a reaction or something like that to it the mascara is not bad at all i think it is a beautiful mascara it is the kind of mascara that i like so this is a mascara that i will be using till the last drop i'd love to know if any one of you guys got this in your box box and what you guys think about this i actually like it but i don't think that i would just go and splurge on a mascara like this i just i don't know so i received the influencer box box complimentary uh you pretty much just fill out their surveys and you rate products so you get to hopefully be sent a box out they kind of just pick at random who they want to send stuff to and you can do another survey to kind of get approved for the Vox box and hopefully you get through so I'll leave their link down below because I did receive this complimentary and I think that this is like an amazing product to get complimentary because I think this is like at least 30 35 dollars probably more because their lipsticks alone are 36 bucks <laughs> but yes um I love the fact that I got uh, sent this as a VIP influencer, so, or at least that's what they say. But anyway, I'm very, very grateful. I like the mascara. That's pretty much it for my influencer Vox Box unboxing and demo. I uh, hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.